Hello and welcome to another video from Sustenance and Cover, the only YouTube channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And today we're going to talk about uh, palm trees that make edible fruit. It's called a wine palm or a jelly palm and I do believe there's other videos on YouTube about it. But here's me propagating some. And the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people don't know that you can get these trees for free. And when they're fully adult size, they cost $10,000 a piece. And that ain't no exaggeration. Uh, you know, one that's about 20 feet tall. But it takes a long time to grow them. And I don't think I'll ever see these get that big in my lifetime. Although I do expect to pick fruit off of them. The fruit is orange and small. It's like the size of a little bit bigger than a grape. It tastes kind of like a cross between a Japanese plum and a pineapple and mama says it just tastes like pineapple to her but anyway uh, I'm gonna show you how you can get these because I, I was driving up in the country a while back and I hadn't seen one of these trees in years but I had seen them when I was little and I knew how they worked but I thought I saw orange fruit on the ground by this man's house so I rolled the window down and you could smell it and I think that's why they call it a wine palm because that fruit's got a lot of yeast on it and when it hits the ground it put out a lot of like a brewery smell. Anyways, the way they grow, and I'm going to show you this little picture I drew for you. If you can see it. See, that's like a palm tree. You see them little pointy things? That's what the bark looks like. And that bark catches some of the fruit when it falls. The fruit grows at the top. <clears throat> when the fruit rots and the leaf litter from other trees and such gets in there, each one of them little spikes holds dirt. And they're all, they turn into like little planters. Each one will have uh, one or two or three of these seeds in it growing. And that's what I did. I went and knocked, I knocked on a man's door. And I just said, uh, you know, I, I sure is a pretty tree. And he knew it. He loved this tree. And he told me about how he would eat them till he got diarrhea. And I said, well, you know, I like them too. It, would it be all right if I get some? And, and first thing out of his mouth, take all of them. Take everything you find out there. And so I pulled them out and put them in a bucket and... Damp, put a damp rag on, brought them home, and stuck them in dirt. And I actually had 88. I, I probably am down to about 50, 50 or 60 of them now. Because, you know, they don't all take. And you tear the roots up trying to pull them out. But I've got some that are pretty big. These are probably like $30 on the internet, these tall ones. But in any case, uh, this is a fruit you'll never, ever have to mess with it. I don't normally plant things from other countries. Because they're either not going to grow and you're going to have to do a lot to take care of them or they're going to become in, in, invasive and I don't like that either. But these, although these will self-propagate, they grow so slow that if you get a problem area that's filled with them, it'll take you about a day to pull them up and that's it. That's the end of the problem. Jelly palm or wine palm. Very expensive and you can get it for free if you live on the southeastern, the south southeastern United States. Love you.